Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in this video tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to create this smooth transition here in After Effects. Also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my future content. So without any further ado, let's get started! Alright, we're here on After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or go here on this little icon, let's rename this to Final, this is gonna be 1920 by 1080 make sure that our frame rate is set up to around 60 and duration 5 seconds long. Hit OK and now let's drag and drop our media from our project window here on our timeline, of course you will import your own media. And now let's go right click to find the new solid layer and let's rename this to transition like this and make sure that our width and height is set here to 3840 by 2160 4k and then hit ok now let's make a few adjustments for our transition hit y on your keyboard to find this pan behind tool or go here on this little icon also my snapping is turned on here and move it all the way to the bottom like this now hit P for position for our transition uh, solid layer and instead of this number type here 1540 like this. And now let's animate our rotation. Hit R for our rotation then go to around 3 seconds. Set up our first keyframe. Let's type here minus 25 and then go here at 0 frames and type here minus 180. And also our next step is to find here track mats, if you can't find them just hit here toggle switches and modes and for this media 01 find here alpha mat. Also grab both of our keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard then go to graph editor, move our playhead to around 30 frames and draw a curve like this. If you can't find curve like this just go right click and you will find here edit speed graph just to readjust it a bit more maybe this one to the right this one to the left like this and now when we hit zero we have this cool animation of our media o1 okay now let's add stroke layer style for our media o1 go right click here find here layer styles and you will find here stroke Open up the stroke option, change color maybe to white or according your needs, like this. Now as you can see we have this white stroke and you can play around with the size, I will type here 8. Ok, now let's pre-compose our media 01 and transition, grab them, then go right click, find here pre-compose, you can type here whatever you want, I will just type media transition 01 and then hit ok. Now what we can do is to duplicate this media transition 01, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate, then hit R for rotation for this second one, you can also change colors here, maybe to go cyan, hit R for rotation, type here 180 and then duplicate this media transition 01 once again and move it above this media transition that has been rotated before, ok, also you can change color here, maybe to go this orange. And now let's readjust our layers here on our timeline for the second one, let's move to maybe 10 frames ahead and this first one 20 frames ahead. Also what we can do is to select this and this media transition 01, go here in the facts and preset, find here Triton effect and then just double click to apply on our compositions. Let's change our first color to maybe this cyan blue color like so. And then also let's change our Triton color for this one and let's try this pinkish or purple color. And now when we hit zero here in our finals we have this cool and creative transition of our media. Also one thing what we can do is to open up this one, add a little bit of scaling for our media, hit S, type here 115 or 120 according your needs, set up our first keyframe for scaling, then go to around 5 seconds and type here 100. And now we have also this movement of our media. And when we're back in our finals, hit 0, our media is looking really awesome. Also if you want to see 2 animation instead of 3 animation, delete the bottom one and just move this media transition 01 
upper and lower like so and now in our finals you will also see just those two animations everything is up to you just play around this is really cool and creative animation and easy to create all right guys so that was easy to create transition hope you learned something new from this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button also leave me a comment down below if you like this video Take a look on my portfolios on my channel for more great tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye.